Okay. It's like, I'm like, and I'm Go and get cosmetic surgery. Like a shooting nerve. Right? It looks just like new. Oh, you let me fly on three It feels like I have a corset. What? <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Sharita is finally here. Hi! Hi. I'm so glad you could join us. You want to pick your nose on camera? I don't give a fuck about your friends. Oh, dear God. <laughs> so abrasive. Wow! Oh, y'all want to go still? <laughs> Why didn't you say something? You don't want to? Are you okay? Why didn't you say something? All you can do is laugh? I have no ways. I Why didn't you update us in Atlanta and say you're not interested? Well, it wasn't in Atlanta that I wasn't interested. When did you become when, disinterested? When I got here. Just at the door? <laughs> no way! What? Hey, what? Hey, you walk in the door? I, no, when I got to IAH. Yo, today has just been... Uh, it's cold so, outside, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, this is what happened. And, oh, I booked my nail on the freaking plane. I was like, take me back home. I have the available. So, we're not going? I don't know. I mean, y'all got ready, I guess. I've just had... I've had this face on all day. But then... Yeah, I can take my makeup. I was doing my makeup, but I can take it off. Uh, you ain't gotta force me, hell. I'm gonna try to keep my eyes open just because uh, of this. Damn, it's cold I, outside. You really don't like light. I really don't know. It's just it's I ridiculous. Really like so what happened? Spirit, they're just dumb. They, I guess they were having um, they they were having technical difficulties because the I, look at my hair because the plane had no AC. <laughs> What do you want me to see about your hair? Like, you know, no, the plane had no AC. Your hair looks like you've been <laughs> you know, like you. Yeah. The plane had no AC. Now that's what you get for trying to be on a discount. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, yeah. Why did I look at my hair today? For real. Wow. wow. Did you see hair? hair? Like, the plane so, had yeah. no AC. That's why so look at her hair. Like, like, look at my hand. They were like, they were, <laughs> when you walked in, I was wondering, but I didn't <laughs> want to say that. <laughs> that's why. I was like, it's 40 degrees outside. Why is your hair puffy? Oh, because it was sweating. You were sweating in the airplane. I was freaking sweating. A sixty dollar the, flight. Is it worth they it? They let the plane take off with no air. It, yeah, there was something. I think they were trying to. It was something that could. I don't know. They fixed something, but there was. It was very. It was. I was going to Jamaica in the first plane. <laughs> wow. It was very. Well, spirit, that custom nice. But they went. They told. They were supposed to change my flight to United. Mm -hmm. This lady, I don't know what she wanted to do. She called me, I saw the voice, but she went, she wanted to talk about her, the changes she made. I don't know what she changes. So I didn't know this, but she changed my foot because I was telling her I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss it. This girl changed my second half to tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The same time, but tomorrow, so I wouldn't miss it. But I didn't know that. So mm -hmm. I go, my job, rushing, running, and I get to my plane. They only waited. They told us, they were like, oh, if you have connected to IH, get off now. They're going to get off first. We go. And they're like, they wait for you guys, but don't make any stops. So we're going to wait for a little bit. So when we got on plane, I had to pee. So I got on plane, and before I sat, I went, and I'm like, oh, can I use the bathroom? And I was like, yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead. I y'all were waiting for another plane that was delayed. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh he's like, yeah. He's like, yeah, the pi well, you need the pilot off that flight. And I said, oh, I'm on that flight. I said, that I, said I knew there was a catch. I was like, let's <laughs> never wait for people. He goes, yeah, we need the pilot. I said, no wonder. They never wait. I'm no, like, they don't. They don't care. Yeah, I was like, you guys never wait. No, you, you needed, needed the guy who was... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So then I saw the pilot get on. So then, I'm sitting down. This black lady comes, and she's like, that's my seat. I was like, I uh, know it's my seat, but I was like, I really don't care. I was like, it's a full flight, but whatever. I'll go sit. I don't really care. Like, I'll just sit, and I just want to leave. So then, the the but I was like in the window, and I was two other people. So the flight someone was like, no, we gotta go. So can you sit right here? So the lady was like, I don't know, window seat, whatever. So she sits. And then, so then the last person gets on, and then she comes, she's like, that's my seat. So then, then they're like, let's see a boarding pass. I give it to him. He's like, oh, you guys have both on the same flight. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, their seats are like, just go. So then I was like, I can move, I don't care. I was like, if you really wanna sit here, like, you can sit here. I just wanna go. So then the guy comes, and he's like, wait, you guys both on the same seat. He, he gets it. He's like, what's your name? I'm like, oh, you're, you're not. Whatever, and I said, I don't know what that is. He goes, This is what your boyfriend says. I said, Oh, I don't know why. I was like, You guys printed it for me. And he's like, So you're not this person? He's like, What's your name? The girl says, Me. She's like, Oh, oh, there's two of the same person. And the girl was like, No wonder, because when I was getting on that lady, was like, You already bought I was like, How I already bought I'm right here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was, 
And she's like, now it makes sense. Like, whatever. So she, she, she's like, I don't want that seat. I want up there. So she goes up there. So the guy was like, oh, come with me. I said, no, no, I don't want to come with you because the place is not He goes, no, come with me. I want to get your seat. I said, no, just I can sit anywhere. He goes, no, no, I got to go up front. I said, no, no, I can just, I really need to like go. So then he, he's going. So then the flight attendant was like, where are you going? I was like, I don't know. He said, I have to go. And he was like, does he just see? He can't just do that. He needs you. And I was like, that's what he's saying. So he can't come. He goes, you have to come with me. I said, I have to go. So then they're like, what? So like, I go. Then they're doing it, and then he's like, looking at my, th he's like, he's like, we can't find you on this vision. I'm like, what do you mean we can't find my vision? It's like, um, this is a connecting flight. I bought a, well, I, was like, I bought a ticket together, so was, I don't know how you can't find me to find me because I, I need to be on this flight. And then he's like, look, look in. He's like, no, ma'am. And then they're like, calling like they gotta let like, go. And he's like, yeah, I can't find you, so yeah, I'm gonna have to wait until so I said, no, we can't stop. So I need to get on my plane. I was my luggage on my plane. He was like, oh, we'll get it. I said, no, I said, go to the underbelly <laughs> of, of the plane. I said, no, it's on the bottom. He goes, oh, yeah, the flight's going to take off without you. I said, no, it cannot take off without me. So he looked, I said, look, so he looks, he goes, look, ma'am, your flight, he's like, I don't know what you did, but your half flight was for today, your half flight was for tomorrow. So I'm looking, looking, I'm like, no, that's not my flight. So I go back to the email. I said, this is the flight that I purchased. I don't know who switched it, but I need to get on that plane now. I was like, I have to be in Texas tonight. So then he looks and he's calling somebody and then he's like saying, oh um, ma'am, no, her ticket was for today because somebody switched for tomorrow, da, da, da. And then he's like, no, I know, but the flight's about to take off and they really want to go off, da, da, da. And he's like, I don't, okay, okay, uh -huh, okay, hold on, I'm home. And I'm like, oh my God. So then they're calling and then he's, he's like, sorry, there's like issues, she's coming, like, can you guys wait, whatever. That, it's like, oh, he's like, I'm his, on the phone talking, I'm super, like, it, in the plane, it's like, I'm like, and I'm just sitting there like frustrated. I was like, I need to get on this plane. And I was like, can I just go, please? I was like, I won't say anything. Just let me know. He goes, no, I can't spot a ball. I said, I, won't, I just won't, I won't say anything. Please, I have to go. And then the black lady was like, mm mm. I don't know how you got the black, this other black lady. She's like, I don't know how you got by. I must not be paying attention or something. You must not. You don't do your job well. My <laughs> she wasn't even there. It was the guy that was there. And she was like, yeah, we can't do that, man. I said, pull a call. I said, I, I wasn't I, talking to you first. I was like, I don't even care. Like, I won't say anything. I don't really know anyone's name. I just need to get on the flight. Because my luggage is on the flight, and I have to be at Houston tonight. So the guy was like, OK. Mm -hmm. All right. No, but they're back up right now. So she got to go right now. OK, I'm going to take a picture of the board. OK. Like, he's like, talking about my phone. I was like, slow. He was calling me. Let's go. So he comes. He shuts the door. He's like, I just need your boarding pass. So I said, but I can't have a plane. He goes, yeah. So we're like running now. And he gets me on. And then he's like, we're going to figure it out on the back. And I said, I don't even care. I said, so is my luggage going to make it? He goes, that's the thing. I don't know if you're, he was like, since they changed it, I don't know if your luggage is on this flight or if it's at the carousel. So when you get to Houston, if it's not there, it'll be there tomorrow. And I was like, oh, tomorrow night. I said, you know what? I don't even care. I just need to get there. So you know what? I'll figure it out when I get there. When I got there, my, my luggage was the second one to come off. I said, oh, Jesus. Um, all this for Payless Airlines. <laughs> this, this is what you all want. Please don't have any money. No, this is what I want to travel. This is the discount airline horror demons. You see? Wow. And like, you paid $40 for your bag. <laughs> That's my thing. I actually thought I paid four seven dollars fifty two. You see? Yeah, it was <laughs> more at the gate. I knew it. No, I didn't pay at the gate. $40 online. Oh, okay, so the gate will be $70. $52 to check that purse. You know, I feel like I'm going to look She says, wow. And look at my hand. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the main thing. I was like, wow, my hair looks like I've been through something today. You've been through a lot. Oh my god. Today god. just it, it drained you. Um, oh my god. But see and they and I was like, wonder why they tell me this. They, but one thing I will say though is they were gonna check, they were look up. They sent me a link so they were gonna pay for my hotel, food, and how to get to the hotel. So I was like, that's one thing about that though. The, well, the lady first told you she wasn't going to do it and then decided that she, that... No, this was because the other lady I was told to first before. But that's the thing. They, they're they so quick to get so, out vouchers because they know they're piss poor. But how did you break your nail? <laughs> oh, so I was trying to get my chin here and I, I went... Wow! And I was like, oh, man, I was like... All because of your beard. I was beard. not expecting that All answer. because of your beard. I was not expecting that answer. Yeah, I literally was like... Doop, and I had a and I was like, oop. Oh, I have them because I'm going to glue it. Cause I can't go out like that. That means frustration. I don't know why you haven't lasered your face. You mean to tell me that? Yeah. <laughs> you mean to tell me that the reason why you you lost your nail is over? Hey, was it? I broke it. I have it. It's actually in my bag. It popped off. He picked it back up. That that's well, got no. Be... I literally broke it in my hand. I was like, oh. oh. And I was like, well, if I don't have time, I just glue it. Cause I literally just gotta fill it to be glue. Wow. That's why I need press ons. That's that's a very uh yeah today has colorful. Been so I just want this hair to do up because this is actually a welcome gift. I do it. I know it. <laughs> We're here. Um, oh, God. 
You're pregnant? No. I'm drinking. Mm, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I drank a little bit before, you know. No, I'm not pregnant. What are, we, what are we saying I'm scared? I don't like this. No, I was going to ask you about something. Wow. I have to show you that. What? Do you want to see it now or later? No. I just have to ask you on a scale of like 1 to 10 how bad you want something. Uh, me? Mm -hmm. I want it. You want it? 10. See? <laughs> Your face. Oh. No, 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 what it is! Yeah, but like, Charity should be there. I love everything. Okay. See, I told you. 10. What is it? It's a bag. Oh, yeah, I fucking want it. <laughs> Shit, that's me so. I know, you bought that small thing. You know what? I think that this is going to be too heavy for you to take. No, it's not. It's going to put you over the I'm going back from Delta. No, it's not. Oh. No, it's not. They better not piss me off. No, it's not. Are you okay? I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Can I what? Yes, it's a gift. Hey, guys. Do you want to see? Do you want to watch me unbox my Jewel of London? Get ready, because I know you guys never had anything like this before. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> no, no, I be, I'm kidding, but if you feel offended, mm -hmm. um, then you need to get you a new man. But if not, <laughs> oh, I kind of want to open this for you guys at home. Um, don't force yourself. You should do unboxing for your TikTok. I should. Oh, yes. If you want to see what's in this <laughs> London bag, follow me on TikTok. I'm going to tell a friend to tell a friend. She's back. Do you want to do that? Ah! Oh! Tell a friend, tell a friend. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's in here. Just tell me. I don't know. It's so cute. Do you want to retie it back? You should be able to do that. We do have the same thing. We do have the same thing. So do us. I don't know what's in here. Is it that candle there? No. Is it perfume? I have the the lotion in the in the bedroom. It's a body butter. It's a body butter? Yeah, it's thick. Yeah, so. Yeah. It's more It's more whipped. Hey guys, what do you think is in here? A fragrance? What? A body butter? A body glitter? Comment down below. A body glitter? Yeah. All of those who answer correctly will be entered in a giveaway. Not to receive this, but. What do they get? Uh, TV. <laughs> <laughs> just, just enter. We don't read your comments like, so did your friend announce the winner? Don't be my comments. Did you announce the winner? My mom, 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 mom. I don't like the dance you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> At all. Mom, why are you so loud? You're so loud. 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 You're so is that shot hitting you? You all wait until I do in parentheses too. Hatch kids. Mouth of mouth. 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 Are you drunk? Mm -mm. Wow. <laughs> you took that shot, you're not drunk. <laughs> mm -mm. I haven't hit yet. Oh. Mm -mm. So this is, that is just a candle warmer. Oh, it's a candle warmer. Oh my god, you mm -hmm. ground. It's a candle warmer, so it keeps the candle Oh burning. my god, it's right candle. on there, it's got a little bit of burning. <laughs> oh my god. It keeps the candle burning without a flame, honey. I freaking can't. Put your hand underneath this, Matt Hop. There are people that don't have gel in their homes, and you're going to buy candle warmer. Oh my god. Your yeah, answer's from Donna. <laughs> For 99 cents a day, and you're buying candle warmer. Hmm? <laughs> is this why you do my <laughs> Because spirit is also flying on the price. I don't know. I'm just worried to take you back. You got candle warmer, and you let me fly on spirit. I didn't let you do it. That was your choice. Okay. <laughs> that was your choice. Why would you want to fly for pay less? No. It was so last minute. That was fun. <laughs> you look drunk in your eyes. I'm glad. You just need two bucks. <laughs> are you possible? Yes. You look. Your eyes are glassy. I just was sweating on a plane. I just told you that. Look right here. And you look like I love with a wig on. <laughs> no. It's all the acting for me.
Do you you open it with your with your broken nails? Oh, peony and blush sweet, my favorite. Have you even smelled my it? Favorite scents from Yo Malone. This is a must. It's all the acting for me. It's Sharita getting whining for me. Oh. Treat your sister on vacation, huh? so oh. they say. Okay. There's <laughs> a huge difference. That just that just goes to show that it wasn't right. <laughs> It, 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 wasn't it, wasn't, right. it wasn't well. It wasn't right. It wasn't well. It wasn't well with my soul. Wait, we we need to leave. You can't do all this here. Why? They have clients. She says something about them teach me something. Out there, they'll tell you what to do with that I'm blue quick. thing for the next few days. I'll be quick. Hey guys, so I just finished um, whitening my teeth here at the spa. I went from a 16 to a 18. Oh, I'm sorry. I went from a yeah, you were pretty old. To a 4. It's giving, send a bag on me, come get your teeth whitened at Bamboo Spa with the lovely... Oh, Sandra. Sandra! <laughs> Sandra! You're crazy, we need to leave. Yeah. That bathroom smells good, the hallway smells, smells good. good, this room when I walked in smells good, everything smells good. Listen, this is a piece of business. This is so crazy. This is a place of business. This is a business. so crazy. Thank you so much. I'll see you Monday. Oh, on the third day or for the next three days? No, for the next three days. So tomorrow night, Monday night, and then Tuesday night. Just put all of my teeth? Yes. Uh, only at night. Okay. And then, um... So I'm gonna send you... Since you feel that I'm gonna send you to the phone number, the instructions that you cannot drink coffee, tea, um, like, red wine, eat red meat, stuff like that. Like, Wait, well, <laughs> you can drink white wine. <laughs> Tequila? But, um, yeah, like anything, anything dark. Like cause Not, yeah, anything dark because we're gonna like. Same. But, um, yeah. It's Too only much. for like 24 to 48 hours. It's not too much. I'm okay. getting my morning coffee. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll just go get <laughs> chocolate. Tequila. Tequila. Oh, okay. Okay. Tequila. 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 Oh, she said that you can drink coffee, but with a straw. A straw. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. At least. <laughs> and, uh, it's okay. I just drink tequila and stuff. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, bye. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, come, she did too. Hi. Yeah, thank you. So, oh. This one. Probably day one. The way she's the way she's the way she's walking is giving day one. It's giving she just got out of surgery. Yeah. Because it's painful, Shrita. What do you think? Take notes. She said no. See. Take notes. That's exactly how you're gonna walk. It's very and see how she's in the trunk. You know, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna put down my seats and put you in my trunk like that. You. You better have at, you better have at, at no, home you massages. Have to push this over the front That's just too much. Me on that. So they had a whole, they had a whole air mattress in the back of it, huh? Oh. Air mattress. Very noticeable. Wow, that's How amazing. Um, I bought two for two something. I don't remember. I can't believe you can't tell. This is a shock. Not yeah, I just got off the table. <laughs> Not the table. Not the table. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, do you see there's even like a little bit of blood discharge on the it was on the pillow like liquid it yeah, wasn't bad yeah, yeah it's just a little liquid on. they're gonna get it right they're gonna get it right hey guys i'm so glad that you guys are watching us again um so this is day one of my teeth whitening experience i hope that you enjoyed watching me get my teeth whitened um we are now heading to the premium outlets uh, we're gonna. Let me so much. Yeah. I know. It's the morning time for me because it has not stopped yet. <laughs> it has just <laughs> whacking. Let the place of rest. It has not stopped. Stop. Stop. We are not at the rest. Turn left onto Park the Ten Place. The point then is so turn right tired. onto Broadfield Boulevard. So grab a so shot of tequila or your favorite mm -hmm. beverage and stay tuned. We are gonna go do some shopping. Do you wanna wear your seatbelt? <sighs> wow. Safety first. And if you guys are like wives of cops and like. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Park Ten Boulevard. I'm too At the much. next and stop sign, turn left. Baby. See it again? Yeah. Do you guys want me to start a YouTube channel? I don't think my page is for everyone. But for those of y'all who've been riding with me since, I don't know how long I've been like featured on this vlog, vlog, vlog. It's a vlog. It's a vlog. 
when I'm talking. Why not? We're not writing things, we're talking, so it's video vlog. Yeah, okay. So I don't even know how long I've been featured on this thing, but some of y'all have been with me first. Like, yo, some of y'all have seen me, like, get my period. Like, everything. Y'all just been with me. Like, so I don't know. Should I get my own page or what? I, but the thing is, I don't even have this time. I only have this time when I'm here. When I'm at my place, I don't have time like this. So I don't know, like, you add your place. Yeah, I don't have time. And then who's gonna edit? Like, okay. So if y'all wanna wanna want me to get my own channel and y'all wanna edit the videos too, let me uh -huh. know. Whoa! Okay, well since she wanna show you me, look at me guys. Y'all better get over here and get you one of these. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's a Sharita Sam. Okay. So I'm right now I'm giving oh, athleisure. Right, I'm giving athleisure right now. Oh, guys, I'm gonna show you how to go from day to night. So right now, I'm doing like errands, grocery shopping, you know, just being a bad. But I have on my Chanel sunglasses you that are exclusive for the Chanel website, just so you know, you to keep my around. What did you say? But you said you didn't say that you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like they, you don't, you, you can't <laughs> you buy it. You can't get it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. This is an insane. And they're definitely not, not oh. out of all fits. But oh my God. So I'm gonna in a little bit we're gonna go to lunch and I'm going to Amazing. show you how to transform a day outfit to a night outfit. So stay tuned. Wow. Grab your popcorn, grab your favorite beverage, and come right back. What are you gonna do? You gonna change it up? I'm gonna just I don't wanna like you want you don't I, wanna I gotta keep you guys waiting. You gotta yeah. keep watching. If you, if you wanna know what I'm gonna do, you gotta keep watching. Okay? And we're going we're making a few steps, so it's gonna be a little bit alright, but I promise you it'll be so worth the wait. Okay? Alright. <laughs> they didn't they didn't respond. They did at home. I watch Miss Monica, I know they respond. You watch what? Miss Monica. What's that? The home Oh, Miss Monica. They said respond. And I thought he said Spartica. No, Miss Monica. Miss Monica. Oh, you talking about like preschool? Like teacher? she'll be like, what's the weather? What's the weather? She gives you a time. She got new music now. No, she gives you time to respond. Miss <laughs> Monica got new music. You outside, Miss Monica. If you're watching this, you better shout me out. Miss Monica's not watching my channel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm sure all the Mamianas are. Oh yeah, we got some Mamianas yeah. around here. You kidding me? Yeah, we ain't, we ain't be a mommy Anna. Don't just add them kids and just be a mom. You gotta be a mommy Anna. Yeah, don't lose yourself being a mom. Like, you just add them kids. And then all of a sudden, I'm a mom. Yeah, you gotta be a mommy Anna. Okay? Oh my god, I should do that. I should make my kid up to be like mommy Anna. <laughs> yeah. I know, you guys would never know. I know, I look so, I look like a spring chicken, but I'm actually in my early 30s. I will give it away because you never should ask a lady how old she is. I mean, do, I they, do men watch this? <laughs> they're, asking. <laughs> they're asking right now. I, do men watch this? Maybe a handful. Oh, okay. Well, for a handful, handful. <laughs> uh, you should not. I can't disclose my age, but I am in my early thirties. I do. I am a mother of two. I know you can't believe it. My body is just amazing. The thing that God can do, like my body, doesn't even look like it's given birth naturally, raw. Well, not raw. Because I actually have two girls. To two children, it's just it's amazing what God can do. But yeah, I think it's really good. Yes. It's giving okay. legs, hips, and body. I mean, blocks in the road but i get to the bag on the lawn i be kind of sex why they go yeah you know me baby won't you keep me company give me something to do when i get lonely i got something for you when we get home if you let me put uh -huh. we didn't do makeups for nothing hey 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 Don't you hate when people eat the stuff that you can't eat? No, that usually doesn't happen to me. You're stressing me out. Can't relate. You can't relate. These 
people are oh able to be. Yeah, you know what? From TikTok, this is from the food. Oh my gosh. You don't know. You don't know holiday music. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. I got a Just got my bracelet touched up. It looks just like new. Yo, yo. Okay, we're getting ready to go out right now. Look at this breakage, crazy. Look at that. <laughs> we're getting ready to go right now. I was gonna do this wig, but with the outfit I'm wearing, I feel like a pulled back look will just go better. And I'm gonna set up to do my pulled back bun. I cannot wait for the cleaners to come tomorrow because this place needs to be deep cleaned. I used this Balmain Revitalizing Hair Mask in the shower yesterday. I used all of it because I just like a lot of product in my hair and I enjoyed it. I then used, this hair is still damp, I then used this Cantu leave-in leave -in conditioner and braided my hair and because I had a wig on while well, I just took it out and now I'm going to wet my hair. I'm going to detangle it because when I pull it back, I want it to lay well. So I'm gonna go and use conditioner, detangle my hair, and then pull this back for a slick back style. Have I told you I'm three, I'm almost four weeks post-op. Without my garment, it feels like I'm wearing a garment. It feels like I have a corset. My sides, well, my lower abdomen all around is still numb and there's still some pain, but I just feel tight. It is the most uncomfortable, weird feeling to be naked and still feel tight so that's something that i want to point out that i of course i don't regret this whatsoever but it's just weird to not have on anything and just still feel tight not like a little bit tight no like really tight i'm not talking about from the incision i'm talking about 360 around my look like my hips around that area 360 sides everything just feels tight Whew, still some numbness in areas but I still love the way I look. I'm gonna do some videos talking about reflections and so forth. You put my contacts on and come back. I'm gonna use this Fable and Main Smooth and Shine hair oil. I really could just go with the leave-in conditioner that I put in my hair, but I like for my hair to be shiny when I do my pullback. It just makes a difference. Natural hair to me just looks good when it's shiny. You know what I mean? Gotta have a shine, honey. But you gotta be careful because when it's too much oil, it be all on your the back of your car, you know, the headrests and stuff. <laughs> Giving um, jerry, juices and berries. <laughs> we don't want to give juices and berries, okay? I love my side part, although I am, I'm also an avid fan. Of, I get tangled in the shower. What's going on right now? I am also an avid, oh, I'm feeling tight right here, fan of the middle part. I'm gonna stand up straight or else I feel like my muscles in my abdomen. It's cramping, yeah. <sighs> okay, it's easy to just slouch over, but then it feels like it's cramping. So I gotta straighten a little bit. And I can stand straight, it just, it's easy to be like, ooh, that's not good. My emotions are valid, but the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind, it's just life. forever and always be present I am enough as I am I All I know is y'all are a mess. Now he got your car from there to there.
Now you got They're ready for us to leave. Let's go. Not even that late from one side. Is it called? Woo! You are sick. Y'all gotta get rid of these lines. He was gonna get caught. Thank you. Oh my god. How do I, uh. $20. You have a. Oh. You want to pay my car? Yeah. It's easier that way for me. So, how did you all enjoy Love Kiss? It. So, we I mean, enjoyed the Kiss. Food? The yeah. food? Top tier. Yeah. Right? Yes, there's talk. no music. Guys, they've been putting me all week because they haven't been allowing me to talk. But, what? no, we, Kiss? you did talk. It was just closed caption. Oh. No, no sound. Kiss caption. is a vibe. I, it's like a seated vibe, but you can get up a little and twerk. But Kiss was a vibe, stuff. though. Yeah, it was a vibe. The music was good, you know. It was mouth to mouth. It was mouth to mouth. out here giving tribal warrior. I'm trying. Is my lens dirty? Ew, it's dirty. You probably can't tell, but. Hang on a minute. Whoa. Yo, I just came from my laser hair hair removal appointment. Ah, dang. Hey. There's no mirror in that place, so I forgot that she did this to my ring. I only made one stop, which was to get gas before I came home. Why? I have experienced, I almost said a different word. I've experienced tremendous results. I had six sessions that I've been using. They're every six weeks, so I've been using them for I don't know how long. But today was my last session, but I purchased three more sessions because I still have faint hair in places and I want it to all be bald. My armpits are completely, completely bald. And I've seen tremendous results. Maybe a 70% reduction in my hair. Love it, love it, love it. Live by it, swear by it. Everyone should do laser hair removal. I just don't understand why I knew this sooner. I didn't know. And now that I know, I need to tell you because you need to do it. It's a game changer. It's just amazing. So there is that. Today, the lady who I had was drawing on me, honey. She was doing arts and crafts. I was like, dang, because it's... One thing I don't like is that I have had in the six sessions three different people. I was hoping to just have the same person because, you know, you're there for a while. So you're talking and it's nice to catch back up again. Like, oh, how was your Christmas? How was your whatever? And then someone knew you just like, hi, what's your name? <laughs> Who are you? Hi. But I talk with all of them because you're just there. Like, you need to have a conversation. So, yeah, she was drawing on me today, honey. I'm like, dang, y'all not. They don't all draw like this. But she used that white. Jeez. She used that white chalk to draw on me. And you sh I shower and shave before I go to the session because you need to be completely oil-free, nothing. Your body can't have anything on it. So I lotion the areas that are not going to be treated and I leave the areas that are going to be treated dry. And I do full legs Brazilian. This is the way I do it. I do the front and the back, you feel me? And then I do full arms, armpit. And yeah, that's what I do. Oh, 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 and then obviously this area, this, this area, because I have some hairs that grow here that are annoying, and then, oh, and here too. So all of that has been left dry. I am dry, and it is an uncomfortable feeling. I hate being dry. So now I'm torn, because I already showered, and I don't want to provoke any more extra dry skin by showering again, and I want a lotion, but I got this white chalk on me. <laughs> to be honest, the last time, I just lotioned over the chalk. Listen, I ain't got time. Like, it's just, you know, I don't want to further dry out my skin. And then if I wipe it, I'm basically doing the same thing. But what should I? I am four weeks post-op, yes, tomorrow. And yeah, I, I had her go everywhere except the scar areas, obvi. Still needed to get my laser hair removal treatment. I do it every six weeks. I had to think for a second. Six weeks and, you know, when you miss it, just prolongs things. I'm looking at my my hips right now. <laughs> Ooh, when you miss it, it prolongs things. Listen, if you haven't already noticed, I do my vlogs. I uh I don't do them the week of. So I always have the skin around my scar is peeling. I'm just I'm looking at it right now. So I do them out, meaning the vlog you get like this vlog you're not gonna get in a few days. You're gonna get this vlog in a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay because first of all editing you know second of all life third of all when i used to do it the week of to go up on that sunday the pressure to edit it and get it up was too much for me and it's too much to handle so there's always a delay which helps me so that when i'm editing something i don't feel so pressured and i can get it up it just works if you are a content creator you understand i know that there are people who will be like editing right on the spot I, that doesn't work for me i tried it it doesn't work for me so i say all this because today 
Tomorrow's my four weeks. Today is the day that I'm finally going to share what I want, you know, and I always had a plan to share, as you know, and I'm not going to, there's nothing to hide because I'm happy. <laughs> like I'm looking at us. Oh, I have a little scar on my back. Is that dry skin? What is that? You know, there's nothing to hide and I don't care, but it's so interesting because I have already done a try and haul. My, my tummy is still numb in a lot of areas and I'm gonna put on my garment now don't have a heart attack I just took it off to go to my appointment because I didn't feel like having to take it on and off right there like that's just a lot hang on let me get some lotion lotion up while I talk to you carry lotion nice and thick and moisturizing what was I saying uh yeah I, I you know I had every, every intention of of sharing that's why I vlogged the whole thing right so uh yeah I had done a try and haul with loungewear and I did that try and haul last week and it was so nice to put on a real clothes for the first time. That was before, just anyway, whatever. So the first time I put on real clothes since the surgery was that try and haul. And I've been holding onto the pictures. I hadn't posted it. And I just, what I wanted to do just to not make it too much was to not, I had planned to post, post my new body, meaning I've obviously lost weight, which I'm proud of myself for. It is a combination of being on a restricted diet and still on keto. I'm still on keto, right? So I knew I'm not gonna post these new pictures until I'm ready to post the video because I knew it was gonna end the videos, the reels, because I knew it was gonna solicit a lot of questions and I didn't wanna keep y'all waiting that long. You feel what I'm saying? So I posted a picture on my IG story of the day and then today I posted a reel from the weekend where it is clear that I both lost weight and lost stomach skin like it's just obvious right <laughs> is this crazy talking with these lines in my face it's tribal okay so woo, listen one thing that girls gonna do is they gonna notice and i love it hey i don't mind you know i'm gonna share what i want because number one if you are a woman who is unhappy with your body i want you to know what i'm doing you feel what i'm saying this is obviously not in any way to say everyone needs to go and get cosmetic surgery absolutely not this is however in a way to say this is what i did in case you're wondering if you're not no problem they say eat the meat all the bones whatever they say that okay not me all winded uh yeah so it's just so funny because i'm getting messages already like girl body waist wear and then no Ooh, somebody and if you're watching laugh you can laugh <laughs> you can laugh she was like hey sis. and i didn't i didn't respond to her because it's not time yet she's like hey sis uh you look so and i appreciate that it wasn't you know an attack it was more so like wow what that one you know she's like hey uh, hey sis you look so great did you get a tummy tuck <laughs> And I just read it and laughed. I read it and laughed because the girls, the girls who get it, get it. Hold on, I'm trying to fix my binder and then I have the foams underneath because before I was just doing this binder for a while, which works really well, but because of the proportions from my waist to my hip, they don't match. They don't even go. They don't sell it in the stores. They are these these proportions are not sold in stores. OK, so the binder just doesn't hit, it don't fit. It don't fit. I was the first binder I purchased from the masseuse, the massage spa was a large. And then I went down to a medium. I really could fit a small. But again, the proportion from the hips to the waist, I couldn't strap on the last strap. So I had to get a medium, which is still big on me. So it, it has gotten bigger as I've lost weight and, and lost inches. It's too big on me. So uh as you know, I already got my two garments taken in on the hips, which is great uh, to make it even more fitted because it needs to be very fitted to compress to really get the results that I want. I put the foam underneath the garment to really give it a, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I've been doing for the past few days is the foam under, excuse me, the foam under the binder, which is under the garment. Three things, okay? So I'm just trying to position it right now <laughs> before I put it on. And this is challenging because... I was putting the back foam on as well, and that's going to be challenging to do just by myself. I'll lower this now that I have this on to show you. Oh, actually, maybe I can't. But if I lower it, you're not going to be looking at my... I'll lower this tripod just to show you, and then I'll come back up again. Okay, so this is what I mean. I have the binder, which this is a, a 
a board here and then I put the foams in it to really help compress because this is really helpful with my hips. I need the hips to go down because the hips are still inflamed. I'm going to put this in the middle of my back because then this helps with that curve to be flat, you know, the curve of the back because she did lipo. This is lipo 360, as you know, and oh, no, wait, 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 <laughs> Woo, hold on. <laughs> Not me, uh, not me having to maneuver just to get this on. I can't do it. Mm -mm. Listen, I can do the binder by itself. When you try to add these foams, because they don't stick. So I'm manually putting it in. I knew this was going to be a problem. <laughs> I've seen so many good results with it. Just with it inside. I'm like, oh, let me go. Cool. Let me bend myself on the sink and maneuver. You feel me? Oop. It's the multifaceted talent. For me, okay, I did it. Ooh, this is all high. Okay, <laughs> this looks real weird, but it's fine. It just needs to work. And not only that, the Velcro was starting to touch my skin, and that was irritating. So here, having this is actually really good. Let me like high breath. I'm still at stage one garment. The stage one garment is to be worn for four to six weeks, and I can't lie. <laughs> I even had it on my calendar. Guess how serious I was. I had it on my calendar and I had it in my mind that I sick that four weeks I was done with this stage one, right? But honestly, honestly and truly, it really is good. So next week is my second, third, next week is my third post-op appointment. So I'm gonna wear this whole shebang. So at least next week, which will give me week five. It will give me five weeks, five of the four to six weeks to wear this stage. And I'm gonna see what she says. And hopefully at that appointment, she says, okay, you can go down to stage two, which is the skims one. So I'm gonna do the five weeks, you feel me? But if she sees me, and I, and I know she already said my, my progress was amazing. I'm gonna see what she's saying when I go see her. I would love to, this is not tight by the way. This right here is not tight. What will make it tight is when I put this on, honey. Oh, I have a headache just thinking about it. So I'm gonna see what she say. Hopefully I can go to stage two after I see her. Cause if not, then it'll just be the week after I see her. Then I go to stage two. And I look forward to just not having to wear this thing anymore. It's easier to get in and out of the skims thing. I imagine I've never worn it. So I don't even know what it would feel like. I know that it has strong support. I bought two. I bought the one that essentially looks like this with the strap and it goes under the breast and it's shorts. And then I bought the thong one, the thong garment. I bought that just so if I wear, I don't like when I wear pants and then I can see the digging in my thigh under the pants. Like it's clear that I have on shorts, I hate that. So I got two because my understanding is those garments, the stage two, I'm gonna be wearing you know, and even after she tells me, okay, you're fine now, my understanding is, I'm trying to stretch inside this, is I'll be wearing that intermittently. So I just got two based on whatever I'm wearing. Okay. <sighs> okay, here comes the actual workout. This garment that I'm putting on right now is the XL. This is tighter than the double XL, which is what I was on when I got off the operating table. I gotta go turn the AC on, it's hot in here. So both of them have been taken in, in the waist only. But of course, the XL is more of a challenge to put on because it's generally smaller than the double XL, obviously, right? <laughs> so it doesn't hurt to put on, it's just tight. Okay, it's tight. Uh, oh, and I'm still wearing the gauze in my top, in my belly button. She, I forget how long she said you wear the gauze. It's, what, it's right there. It is petrolatum dressing and it's yellow it's got petrolatum on it okay petroleum jelly and you cut a strip i cut a strip of it and i sh i stuff it in my belly button i'm not using a ball or anything like that stuff it in the belly button and it keeps it it helps it to heal so my belly button has a yellow gauze in it and my belly button is numb <laughs> when i stuff it it just feels so strange but yeah it's numb uh let's see so she said those Amazon, you know, things you can shove into your belly button, you would do that after it's healed. So I imagine she'll tell me when I can move to that thing, those plugs, you know, not the, not the dressing, but an actual 
nub of some sort, some kind of nub. Because if you do the garment, which is gonna, you know, it cinches you like this, it's like really tight. When you do that and don't have something in the belly button while you're healing, that's how people have those belly buttons that look like a, like a slit because you've squeezed the belly and you've done it so much that it's molded into a line as opposed to a belly button, you know, a circle. So hello. So I'm like, oh, that makes so much sense. So I make sure I have my gauze inside, honey. Okay, let's get this over the hips because the hips, honey, these hips are made for walking, okay? And that's just what they'll do. So to get it over the, <laughs> to get it over the hips, oh, just imagine how this was when you see in the video or maybe you've already seen in the video there's a series of my surgery watch it uh, you see it was a challenge if i showed you i don't know i haven't edited i haven't edited everything yet i'm working on it now it's a challenge to get this on and in the beginning when i was really weak oh it would, it would win me honey it would be win dang me and i gotta go turn the ac on so it's one of and you know of course with the garment it's giving like it just looks like i'm stuffed with pillows but then when you take it off it's like bah, bah, bow. <laughs> Woo! honey i'll show you what i can okay so we're trying to get in this is just a little bit painful not enough to make me want to stop, but you know, because my skin is still healing, so the skin still hurts in some places. Tummy tuck is fine, it's numb, I ain't got no issues there. It's uh it's the skin from the lipo in some areas. <sighs> I've been wearing this for a month now, so Yes, I've gotten used to it, and yes, I'm over it. I put the garment on and the whole setup, I feel odd because I've gotten used to it. I'm like, something is just wrong. I'm missing something. Because without the garment, my body feels like I have on a corset. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't fit, right? It does, honey. Watch. Mad tight. And they took this in on the sides. This is the double XL again. Starting to sweat a little bit. Okay, we got three hooks. Look at that. Very stretchy. This is from the doctor's office. I didn't go to a different place. I get everything from her. Just to make sure I got the right stuff. You feel me? Whew. Okay, so it looks like it's going to burst. No. Obviously, very good quality for 250. It better be. You feel me? So, there's that. And I keep this loose because I don't need to be choking me in my armpits. It was choking me the first few weeks. Like, what now? Okay. This alone is mad tight. And do you see how I have a naturally small waist right here? Okay. Ready and go. So, I pull it up. And here we go. Ah. So, it'll be looking like it's not going to fit. Oh, heck yeah, it does fit. Okay right up there well <laughs> yeah so you know it's all good yeah, you know so i got three layers on honey this is what i keep on underneath underneath it all what is annoying is the digging in my thighs i'm starting to get a line of hyperpigmentation on my thighs you know but all that will lighten up once i get this thing off and really that is part of the after the post-op protocol is not to keep this stage one on for too long because of the hyperpigmentation that will form as a result of having this tight old thing on. So yeah, I cannot wait to go to stage two. It'll just be smoother and, you know, all of that. Wait, I never got this stuff off my face. I do need to wipe my face because I'm having some, let me just use some water. I have some, I don't know if this from the laser or what, but do you see that dead skin? Gotta get that off, you know? Can't use anything harsh because I just had laser hair removal. So I just took a cotton pad with water. I just need to wipe off the dead skin so that when I put my lotion on, it ain't all crumbling. Yo, I can, I can literally, okay, literally, 
Wow. Hang on. When she lasered my, when she, when she lasers, whenever I get laser all over my body, right? And it's going like, zzz, 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 whatever. I can smell something. And what you're, sm what I'm smelling is the skin burning. It's a strange smell. And as I'm wiping my face, the cotton ball smells like that. Wow. So, and I'm seeing what may be, I mean, there's dead skin for sure, but there's also little, little black things, which looks like it might be my hair. Wow. So when it burns it off, is it leaving the hair? I'm like, because, wait, what, what, what just happened? I've never seen this. I've never noticed it. What? If you had laser, comment down below because I want to know what your experience was like, first of all. Did you see great results or nah? Ooh, same here. Dead skin, but little, little black spots. I've never noticed it. Is that the hair? Because if it burns off, then that means that it is just sitting there. So does that mean that I, when I get home, I should shower? <laughs> Woo! I don't know. I mean, they don't tell you. They just say, make sure you hydrate. You can use aloe vera and then dang. Oh my gosh, I've never noticed this. And I've been doing this for several months now. What? <laughs> I mean, life goes on, right? Duh. Wow. <laughs> What's a bum 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 dilum bum 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 dilum bum bum? I have been thoroughly enjoying this youth to the people super berry hydrate and glow dream mask. This is for nighttime, but because I want intense hydration because of what I just did, I'm putting it on now. You know what I mean? And then I'll top it off with with what's it called? My SPF. I'll be right. This stuff is so good. There are very few products that I can use by themselves after I freshly wash my face to go to bed where I will wake up and touch my face and I still have the product on it. This is one of them. It, <laughs> wow. I use it like every night actually. Now I think about it. I use it every night. It's so stinking good i'm looking to see my little pieces of hair in my hand i don't know i think i do this is so stinking good so i put this on now because like i said the extra hydration is a must right now is a must i need to exfoliate my chin because of the pimples but obviously now is not the time like not the time at all i'm gonna get my um spf okay very important with laser okay when i walk you hear that it's the switching, switching right to left for me. <laughs> Ooh. SPF. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> One thing I'm going to do is make music you know, and it's going to be to the tune of whatever I decide. This ponytail is bushy. <laughs> I just threw this on so fast and I washed my hair and I braided it today in the shower because you know that I co-washed my hair, excuse me, and braided it in the shower. Natural hair works so much. It's just so much easier to manage when it's done while wet, freshly washed. You feel me? So I did that today.
Okay, so today is week four. Today marks week four. Uh, I'm leaving my massage appointment I'm going three times a week. I believe I already told you that. And uh, today she did wood therapy and wow. I know that my doctor recommended, oh, my alarm to do my wear test. My wear test check-in. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I gotta do that in a sec. <laughs> Should I do it right now? I wanna be like outside, hold on. She started doing this wood therapy on me and I'm like, what? Now we supposed to do endermology, which I cannot explain to you because I don't even know what it is. But my, my uh, I almost said therapist, my doctor recommended me to this these people. So I know she trusts them obviously, right? And we did not do the endermology today. Today marks my four weeks. So she started doing wood therapy on the places that are tough. It's like tough skin. I don't know how to say it. If it's, I don't know, it's like tough. That's all I can think of. So she said the wood therapy helps. And it did because when I got up, I felt less pulling on my incision line and just a little bit on my side and side. So I was like, oh, this stuff does work. My incision line and the area surrounding it is still, still numb. So I don't feel what's going on over there. But there's some nerve endings or nerve beginnings or whatever that are coming into play. And that really changes the game for the massages. The front wasn't a problem, except there was one area, it was like this nerve was a line down my the middle of my stomach. And when she was doing the massage, I, I kept feeling it. It's like a, it was like a shooting nerve. I kept feeling it in a line. And I was just, you know, I have a high tolerance. I'm just sitting there quietly, but I'm making faces like, Ugh. and when she got to the back, my back is coming too. It's waking up more. The skin of my back is waking up more. She's really happy with how it's looking because it's so curved. It's like so pretty. I love it too, right? So she's like, uh, it's looking good. So she's doing the wood therapy in the back with those little tiny things again and jesus lamb of god like i told you the back is my problem area man the skin hurts yo the skin hurts so she was doing it and i had to tell her that hurts i had to tell her to just chill out because that one i could not just squeeze my face through usually i would just squeeze my face until she's done that one i could not do it what wow it felt like a burning it felt like you put a match to my skin it was just freaking burning okay but i know that the wood therapy is necessary and it helps but to let me tell you the pain was sick so she I, like she was moving it away from that area it was just certain areas that were freaking burning me <sighs> so she was doing it in, in in addition to hands so she was doing it hands and the wood and the hands and the wood and she was really pressing today i mean she presses usually she was pressing today and it was fine because we're at four weeks now you got to really get in there you feel me because after you let my under this is, this is what i'm saying from what i feel like i've gathered all over the internet and from the doctor this is how i have translated it that the skin or whatever's underneath it i think it's the skin it can toughen up and harden and then you just have it like it's just there you'll have a hard freaking stomach or a hard back if you don't take time and be serious with these massages that's how i have interpreted all of this hence why i have been doing so many massages i don't know how other people's stomachs feel but i what like i have seen people that have gotten surgery bbl specifically because you know it's all with lipo if you get the lipo which i can't imagine you don't get lipo but that's a different story and I, they just look hard now I haven't touched them I don't know what it's like they haven't told me but they just look hard okay especially around the lower abdomen now that's just what it looks like to me and I don't want that at all ever in my life and so that's why I am very serious with these massages I have gotten a lot of them because I want to have the most amazing results ever and my doctor is all for it and I don't want to have hard freaking skin. So I don't know how to describe it, but if you've ever had this procedure done, you know what I'm talking about. And I don't want to have that. So the top of my tummy is soft. It just feels like my tummy. And then the bottom feels hard, like mid to bottom feels hard. And I'm, I'm four weeks post, so it's normal. But with the therapies that I'm doing, which is massages, that's therapy. It's going to help like loosen all of that or something. I can't, I can't give it a white word. I've been seeing results and it's helping to flatten my stomach. All the things, keep the information down, blah, blah, blah. 
The mind is is if you, I don't know, if you leave it to chance, that's the full heart. No, I don't know what it's called, but I don't want it. But yeah, that wood therapy, wow, that wasn't relaxing today. Some days are relaxing, this wasn't it. That wasn't it. Nope, not at all. Not one bit. Nope, not one bit. I was like, God almighty, wow. When she does the hands, I'm okay. Oh, and then she was doing it with you. Okay, okay, okay. And this, the feeling in the skin, like I said, it comes back over time, little by little. And so the massage has become more and more tickly, ticklish because I can feel it more. And uh, I just have to tense up when she's doing it, especially my, my armpits, because it can it can be borderline ticklish and uncomfortable. So I have to tense my body, which is like so uncomfortable, <laughs> because she was doing the wood therapy armpits too, and I was like, my God. because on my right armpit, I had a, I don't know how to call it, like a pocket of fluid that she has been working on for weeks, and it is really, has really gone down. But I told y'all on a different vlog, man, oh, yo, man. Some sessions where she was really pinching it and, and and like massaging it and pinching it and massaging it. Just imagine, just just e freaking imagine, e freaking imagine the pain. Oh God of mercy! And I just sit there, and my face is twisting and twisting and twisting with pain. But I just sit there because she gotta do it, gotta do it. If you leave it, it's gonna be like a freaking ball. It will almost feel like a tumor. Like I don't even know what that's called but it happened because i had a light bulb in my freaking armpits you feel what i'm saying so you gotta it's the it's the inflammation you gotta get it out so these lymphatic massages you know, it's really important it's expensive because it all adds up right now i've paid close to two thousand dollars on massages i bought 10 packs two 10 pack packages so that is i finished 10 already and then i believe i am now on three or something three out of my other ten so you know we'll see and I told them I'm gonna do it as much as you as much as you recommend because I again this is a big investment and I feel like I said once you get hard I don't think there's anything you can do I don't think there's anything you can do with that tissue that gets hard and I don't want anything to do with it I don't want anything to do with it so everyone can do what they feel is best obviously what you can afford but this is why I was saying in a different video there are a lot of other fees that come outside of this outside of you just getting yourself sliced and diced in the, in the hospital you feel what I'm saying there's more there's more to really give this a home run you feel what i'm saying so <sighs> yeah i'm glad that i'm glad that massage is done because i needed to i needed it to be over with honey i needed her to be done okay god almighty and then with my arms above my head i was just feeling some soreness under my breast with the incision you know every now and then i feel some soreness with the skin so i was like ready to put my arms down but i'm so happy with my results already and then i i was so eager to get to four weeks to go to the gym but i'm not gonna go right now i have the energy to go i feel ready to go and with like going slow and not freaking doing what are those called scissors and all that stuff with like back and up. i'm not gonna be doing all that right now but i have on these three layers that i can't imagine working out in and it's not just the discomfort of working out with these three layers i mean i could go and do this damn master you feel me but it's the sweat because I have, you have my skin, you have foam, then you have the binder, then you have the garment. And I can only wash the garment, not the foam, not the binder. So I'm gonna work out in this foam and then come put it back on. Ew, the bacteria of it all. And I'm not gonna be changing this foam every single day. The three pack of foam is $30 and you can't wash it. You can't wash it. And I can't wash the binder. So, and I can't just wear the garment because I'm not at that stage to just wear the garment because that would be stage two and I'm still on stage one. So really what I could do is walk slowly, you know, and maybe I can go do that, but I don't really feel like it. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll go and walk. Not today though, but maybe that's what I'll do. Just walk for an hour. That is not going to make me sweat. Like literally just casual walking on the treadmill because any kind of sweat exercise, no. So the stage two garment would be something softer you know, with all these ridges right softer so that i don't leave me with lines and that's just a one thing nothing stuck up in underneath it and that i have two of so i can be washing it and be free so i have a doctor appointment next week i'm hoping that at that point i can do my stage two and then i'll work out that'll be more comfortable that'll be way more comfortable <laughs>